guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace Case Case Path. Yes, someone in a VR, someone in a VN chat actually told me I was I was pronouncing it wrong, and I because some of you in the chat were telling me you didn't like it when I said Kaysuk. They were saying pronounce it Case K. So Case K. <laughs> oh, I don't know much. I don't know much about Japanese language. I should probably learn it. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while entertaining you. Let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Unable to hold it any longer, Kaken burst into, la burst into laughter, making Shuichi finally remember that he was actually there. I have no idea what it is I just saw, but I'm glad I I'm glad to have seen it. Wh what? Shuichi blushes something fierce. Even the tips of his ears go red as they both flop downwards on his face. You pretend you never saw this. Ha! <laughs> We both know that that's going to be impossible. You suck! I'm well aware of that. What else is new? You already had your fun, Cake, and lay off of him a little. Aw, I was just getting started. Well, just stop, okay? Alright, alright. I won't tease him about it anymore. Thank you. Shuichi breathes a sigh of relief as his entire body relaxes. Alright, alright, fine. Enough of the, enough of the tease Shuichi game. Sure. Let's play the good please go pat yourself dry in the bathroom game instead. I heard it's very fun. And while you're at it, please use some deodorant. The strong smell of sweaty dog is offensive to my nose. What? Now you're just going out of your way to insult me. Kay kind of pinches his nose again and starts breathing through his mouth. I'm doing no such thing. My nose is just really sensitive and the smell is starting to make me nauseous. What? Well, Yuichi, you don't mind it, right? I don't mind it. I don't really mind- I don't really mind that scent. What? See? I too- But that doesn't- Oh, let's go- Actually, let's back up and go to I mind it. Okay. Well, Shuichi, let me remember the words that a wise man once said. What was it again? Hmm. Oh, that's right. Dude, you fucking stink. Don't you shower? Sheesh, that bad? You smell like wet dog, and believe me, I know what wet dog smells like. Shuichi laughs, covering up his mouth in an attempt to stifle it. You two might be used to it by now, but I'm not a dog, nor do I live with a dog. I'm not used to it. Nah, the smell is a bit strong, even for me. Shuichi, you should definitely go clean yourself up. Plus, you don't want to offend the other people who are going to be sitting next to us, right? You're right. Last thing I want to do is bother other people. But... He gives me a meaningful, pitiful look. You're gonna have to get over that at some point. I know. Still. Ugh. Cake and curves his body, leaning towards us. He lifts his hand and waves. Hello, person who has no idea what what you two are talking about here. Oh, right. Well, how can I say this? I, um... He looks away, pretending to think about something. In reality, he's just hoping that Kaken will forget about it and change the subject. I sigh. Shuichi's afraid of public bathrooms. What? You are such a tattletale! What? What? Uh, wh why? Why would you be afraid of public bathrooms? I'm not afraid of them. N not exactly. I just think they're really, really gross and I'd rather not go inside one. I feel like I can catch an STD just by breathing the air inside them. What? Well, this building is a national property. The whole place is spotless. You can eat off of the bathroom's counters. Ew, no, don't say that even as a joke. I think I can feel my stomach crawling up and curling itself into a ball. You're weird. I guess this explains why I never saw you going to the bathroom whenever we, we go out. But wait, what about school? Doesn't that count as a public bathroom? Are you kidding? I spend more time at school than I do my own home. That place is already a second home to me. What? But that doesn't make any sense. So she scratches his neck, looking away. One second, guys. Okay, just going my sinuses. Okay. In essence, Shuichi is basically just weird. How cruel of you to say this to my face! Oh please, I didn't say anything that I didn't say anything that you yourself haven't said before. What? But but I not nah, screw it, you're right. Kaken and I laugh at his reaction, making him shoot us a death glare. So I don't like dirty places, so what? Everyone's got something they don't like. Yeah, but people usually don't have usually have fears that keep them from doing something, as basic as going to the bathroom. I already told you I'm not afraid of going to the bathroom, I just just I'd rather not. St I'd rather just stay away from it because it makes me feel uneasy and uncomfortable. Okay, dude, that's the textbook definition of fear. 
case of glass, making sure she's shooting me at another death glare. Bite me! Are you sure? Harris have pretty strong teeth. He opens his mouth a little, pointing at his teeth. What? I didn't mean literally. Too late. Kaken lunges at Shuichi with his open mouth, going for his neck. Are you a hare or a vampire? Shuichi reacts fast, pushing him away. What? No! Kaken falls back, laughing. I'm sorry, your reaction was just too funny. I couldn't resist. You do realize we're in public, right? Eh, so we're horsing around a little. Big deal. You have the weirdest sense of humor. And of timing. It's the pot calling the kettle black. Okay, you two, behave. I don't want to be seen with two guys acting like complete lunatics in a public place. Why do you even care? It's not like you're going to meet these people again. You're an athlete. You're part of a completely different circle. People who go to tennis games don't usually attend classical music competitions, so it's not like any so it's not like any of them know you. Oh, really? Because you, me, and Shuichi and Saya all go to tennis games, and yet we're here. Well, yeah, but that's because we know June and he's competing. Yes, and if it's possible for those circumstances to exist for us, doesn't it also stand to reason that it can be true for someone else? Besides, you yourself admitted that you like classical music. I suppose you're right. I guess I went a little overboard. Yeah, besides, if Yuichi is the one lecturing you about this sort of thing, then you should take that as a clear sign that you need to rein it in a little. Hey! That's true. That, I'm not that bad. You're the ones that keep arguing in public and end up getting people complaining about you. Remember that time in the diner a while back? Ah, <laughs> ah! I give them a smug smile. Yo, we're back. So, I so I see. Did everything go okay? Yeah, they opened an exception for me since I was actually increasing the difficulty of my performance. Although they did say that they'll they'll double the amount of points deducted for each mistake I make. What? That's crazy. Why would you agree to that? I'm not planning on making any mistakes. Ha <laughs> ha! See? I asked him the same question, he answered me with the same thing. Sai gives him an enthusiastic slap, a few enthusiastic slaps on the back, laughing. She nearly sends him down to the floor. When did you get so bold, Kobayashi-kun? Ow, ow, Mizuguchi-san, please stop slapping me! What? Not you too! I'm not even that strong, I'm not Shuichi! It's not about being strong, Sai-chan, it's about knowing how to control your strength. Oh, like I want to hear that from you! Sai gives him a cold stare. What? Well, I don't hurt people at random. Anymore. I add to his sentence. Yeah, yeah, anymore. Saya huffs, unamused. All right, I won't touch anyone ever again. I'll spend the rest of my cold, sad existence without knowing that the warmth of another person's touch is. Happy now? She starts being melodramatic in an attempt to state her displeasure. Yes. <laughs> without batting an eye and giving no attention whatsoever to her drama, June answers her with a single word. Jeez, that's cruel, Kobayashi-kun. Anytime. He answers with feigned ignorance. The reason I can tell it's not legit ignorance is because his mouth is quivering with an attempt to suppress laughter. You know you two could definitely form a comedy duo. Kobayashi-kun could be the straight man and Mizuguchi-san could be the funny girl. A comedy duo or a double act is a traditional form of humor in which a duo has completely different personalities. Where the straight man is usually serious and down to earth and the funny man is ridiculous and a tad crazy. Alright. Alrighty, let's go. That same could be said of a, could also be said of the following pairings: me and you, you and Saya, Yuichi and Junkun, and me and Yuichi. Hey, I disagree with that. I am clearly the straight man in our pairing. Who are you trying to fool here? You're barely qualified to be the straight man in your pairing with Kobayashi-kun. Hey, rude! The only thing worse than a fool is a fool in denial. H hey, guys, please don't start arguing. I have to leave to go backstage in two minutes, and I'd very much prefer if you didn't kill each other while I was gone. Kaken and, Kaken and Shuichi fist bump, smiling smugly at me. I stare at them, exasperated. When does your performance start again? At 12.30, but I still need to go backstage to prepare. All participants are supposed to wait back there for their performances. Ugh, sounds like waiting for your performance to come up will be boring. And no offense, Miss Suguchi san but why did you come if you dislike classical music that much? To cheer you on, of course. I was actually going to bring a bunch of bandanas and a, cheer, and a cheer for cheering flag I had made at home, but Kaken said I wasn't allowed to. She, she pouts. I already told you. This is classical music. Making any sort of noise during the performance is, a, is in bad form. You might distract the competitors. Boo! That's boring! If you don't want to watch it, then just go home. No! Then I won't be able to watch June Kun perform! And stop whining! You don't have to say it like that. Mizuguchi-san, you already... Mizuguchi-san, you already knew this was going to be a classical music performance. You knew other people would be performing, and you knew you didn't like this sort of music. So why did you choose to only complain now? Why even show up at all? Because I have the courage. To, because I have to encourage Kobayashi-kun, of course. 
Keiken looked over to June and snapped his fingers, calling his attention. Hey, Kobayashi. What? Y yeah? How do you feel about somebody coming to watch who to watch who hates the music and is only here to th because you th because they think they have to be? What? Well, well, June glances over at Saya, sheepishly rubbing his neck, his cheek. I want people to appreciate my music, so it makes me feel a bit uncomfortable if someone is coming over against their will. Ka! Uh, but uh, I'm really happy to have you all here. I'm really touched that you'd come all the way here just to see me perform, even more so knowing that you don't really like classical music. So are you happy about it or not? Which one is it? Yeah, you're 100% contradicting yourself. Uh, um, I might have gone a little too far, sorry. I was only trying to make the point that complaining about being here in front of Kobayashi would only make him feel bad. Sorry for putting you on the spot, Kobayashi. As if on cue, Saya bows down. I'm sorry if I've been complaining too much. Ah, uh, uh, well, no, it's fine. It doesn't bother me too much. Honestly, I'm just happy you all cared enough to come see me. Of course we'd show up. You're one of us now. Saya gives him a thumbs up, smiling widely. Yes, you're one of us now. My condolences. Honestly, I wouldn't lose this for anything. Just go kick some ass, okay? Shuichi gives him a few light taps on the back. After they all say their piece, all four of them turn over to me, looking at me with ex expectation. What? Come on, Yuichi. Give him some words of encouragement. Oh, uh, well... It's okay, Yuichi-san. You don't need to say anything. A beeping noise echoes throughout the lobby sound system. Compe competitors? Competitors in the 12th Sakura University Piano Competition. Please move backstage for preparations. I have to go. Already? Can't you stay a little longer? No, it's easier for the organizers if we're already if we're already all backstage. Plus, I need to change and I need time to focus, so... No! Good luck, Kobayashi-kun! June nods, turning around to join the mass of people who started going towards the backstage. June! I don't know why, but I suddenly had an urge to speak up. I called out to him after he took a few steps away from us. June turns around, looking at me with curiosity. I believe in you! June looked dazed for a second, as if he didn't quite grasp my words. Thank you! This time he ran away, he ran away, quickly joining the others and disappearing from our sights. Well, I guess we already know who his favorite is. Huh? Why was he so much happier when you encouraged him? You didn't even say five words! God, allergies have been really bad this time of year. I don't know why! Okay. Why? When did the two of you get so close that you'd be able to lift his spirits that much? Even you? Ah, whatever, I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Shouting out, ah, I don't care anymore, isn't the sort of thing a person does when they say, when they, quote unquote, don't care. Shut up! Yes, ma'am. I've known her for 12 years and I still have no clue how her mind operates. And you'll know her for 70 more and still won't understand it. Just roll with it. Switchy puts a hand on my shoulder. Well, as much as I dread the idea, I have to go freshen up a bit. Can't exactly sit down to watch the performances smelling like a musky husky. They'll be opening the sitting area now, so I'm gonna go get go get us some seats. A girl gets up from the piano, bowing to the crowd and walking out of this walking out of the stage. She gets a very lukewarm reception, with only a few claps here and there. Weak. Kaken has criticized every single performance that has been put out so far. I know classical music tends to be boring, but I can barely stay awake right now. Hey, Rushi Hara, have they all been that bad? You haven't had a single good thing to say about their performances. Not bad, per se, but not good either. None of them stands out. Hey, Yuichi-san, you're the only one who's seen Kobayashi perform. Do you think he's better than them? Well, none of their performances have made me feel the same way as June's did. When I saw him play, I felt like the music was calling to me, tugging at my heartstrings. I felt like I needed to get closer, to feel all the keys pounding with my whole body. But these kids? I don't feel anything. No rush, no excitement, nothing. I don't really know much about music, but I know that they don't really do anything for me. I think June is much better. Hmm. And now, the next performer will be Shinji Akutagawa, performing Franz Liszt's Grand Fantasia de Bravure, de Bravure sur, la, sur la Clochet. Probably mispronouncing the fuck out of that. The crowd starts clapping as a lion walks into the stage, donning a black suit, waving at the audience with a confident smile on his face. That's him. How do you think his performance will go? I don't know. I hope for Kobayashi's sake that he's not good. The lion sits down in front of the piano. The audience goes dead silent almost by instinct. Suddenly, I feel very on edge. A few seconds of silence before he begins his performance start to fill me with a sense of dread. What if he's good? What then? I feel like my heart is going to explode. If I'm like this, my, how much June be feeling right about now? God, I hope he's okay. He starts performing and I instinctively hold my breath. The keys echo softly, slowly beginning to weave a slow melody. 
This doesn't seem as amazing as Cake had mentioned. I start feeling angry at him and June for making me feel so on edge for nothing. This is what we are afraid of? This is no... No. He's good. But this song sounds so easy. Grand Fantasia starts off really slow. It suddenly speeds up at about, at about three minutes. That's what will make or break his performance. If he can do that part correctly, then... Here it comes! He suddenly speeds up his performance so much that I can barely recognize it as the same song. He's not just fast. He's oppressively fast. I feel as if I'm suddenly being pounded into submission. I instinctively hold my breath, my heart rate increasing exponentially. I feel like the sheer magnitude of his performance forbids me from uttering a single word. There's so much I want to say, but my body is frozen in place and refuses to listen. The words are caught in my throat, unable to be let out. If it's like this, if he's this good... Shit, please don't let June be watching his performance. Please, God, don't let him watch this. If he does, I'm pretty sure his spirit will break. He finally stops his performance. It feels as if the enormous weight that was pressing down on the audience has suddenly lifted as everyone breathes a collective sigh of relief. Akutagawa kun gets up from his seat, panting heavily. His legs wobble a bit, but he makes his way to the front of the stage, bowing down to the audience. The crowd immediately erupts in cheers, giving Akutagawa kun a standing ovation. The sound is so loud that it almost shakes the entire concert hall. His was without a doubt the best performance so far, and you can tell that from how the crowd reacts. After bowing down to the crowd, he walks out of the stage. He walks out of the stage as there is another beep followed by the announcer's voice. There will now be a 15-minute interval. Audience members are advised. Audience members are advised to not be away from their seats for more than 10 minutes, as they might miss some of the ensuing performance. Shit. They're like, oh, let me die again. Shit. Kaken was the first to break the deathly silence that had fallen on us. When Kobe, when's Kobayashi Kun's performance? I swallow hard, trying to steady myself. He's next. Double shit. Yeah. Having to follow up on a performance like that, I don't think he'd be able to. If he watched this, something in my heart tells me that he watched that performance. And I know he wouldn't be able to go out on stage after that. Save my seat for me. What? I get up from my seat and run out of the hall. I run to the backstage entrance. When I try walking through the door, a ram dressed in a uniform stops me. Excuse me, sir. Only competitors are allowed backstage. I need to see my friend. I'm sorry, but like I said, only competitors are allowed. Like I care. I push him to the side, nearly knocking him against the corridor wall, and I run past him. Wait, stop! It isn't hard at all for me to bolt past him. As soon as I'm in, I start looking for June. Where could he be? Ah! I stop dead in my tracks as I see a familiar figure wearing a white suit sitting down on the floor, his face buried in his knees and his entire body shaking as, as, he very, as very quiet sobs come out of him. June! I timidly reach out to him, putting a hand on his shoulder. He looks up at me, tears streaming down his face. Well, you son. Alright, I'm gonna pause it right here. Oh god, poor crying June. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Have a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!